So the next step you want to do is you want to create your conversions. So as you I remember in here, you have all these different types of things that you can choose to set up. And the what we want to do is we may want to set up custom conversions because when we're going to create some ads, we want to tell Facebook, hey, go find people who register for my webinar. Go find people who will buy my red shoes. Okay? And in order to do that, we have to set up what we call custom conversions. So let me show you right now. Um, over here, I've gone on to the, let me show you where that is. It's in the menu item in the left hand corner and I've gone to custom conversions over here. If you just use the regular, um, just like if you didn't add any parameters, you don't need to do this. So if you didn't add that extra like content ID or content type, you do not have to do this at all. Um, it will, they have some um, basic ones that are built in for you already. Okay. But here's how you can create some custom conversions if you want. So I went to create custom conversion and over here, you can do it with URL traffic, like I said. So it is possible to create a custom conversion based on URLs, but I do not recommend that. I recommend using the pixel because it's just an easier way to track things in the long run. It's more stable and it prevents you from getting into problems when there's changed URLs. Once you could create a conversion, you can't edit it. So I can't create one, for example, here with a URL traffic and just keep adding other URLs. Once you create it, that's it. And when you start an ad set, Facebook starts to learn how to get people there. You don't want to all of a sudden have to introduce a brand new pixel in the middle of a campaign that's doing really, really well just because somebody changed a URL on you. So the pixel is um, tracking it with the pixel and standard events and custom events is the way you want to go. So here I have one here, like I created a standard event, a lead, and it needs to have at least one um, visitor to it. So what I do is I just open up the thank you page in an incognito browser and then it'll fire it. And sometimes it takes uh, a little bit of time for it to appear in here. So just be patient if that happens, it may take a couple of hours. So right I have here is I have lead. So I'm gonna choose lead, for example. I'm just gonna press an X here and I'm gonna pick add rule and let's just choose event parameters. So say for example, I had, you know, the content categories webinar and I'm just typing that in here and pressing enter. And then maybe I also had an event parameter where the content category name for the webinar was my Facebook webinar, for example, if I did that. So now, I can then name it. So I can name this as Facebook webinar subscribers. I can put a value to it if I want, and then I can create it. And now I have this custom conversion. And when I create ads, I can tell Facebook, hey, go look for people who are likely to register for my webinar on Facebook um, and using this custom conversion. So that's how you create, uh, install your pixels, and this is how you create your conversions.